Cod liver oil is an amazing, nutrient-rich food that has gained in popularity in recent years. Unfortunately, there's also a lot of confusing and misleading advice online on how to take it correctly and what to look for in a quality product. So in this video, I will talk about the exact nutrients and benefits of cod liver oil, how to take it and store it correctly, what differentiates a good from a bad cod liver oil, and at the end, I will also share my favorite brands that I recommend to other people. Let's start by discussing the nutritional content of cod liver oil. In general, its most important nutrients are vitamins A and D, along with omega-3 fatty acids. Vitamin A plays a crucial role in maintaining healthy vision, promoting immune function, and supporting the growth and development of cells and tissues throughout the body. There are two forms of vitamin A. Provitamin A, also known as beta-carotene, that you find in carrots, for example. It is the precursor to the bioactive vitamin A and needs to be converted by the body to become active. Since this conversion depends on a healthy thyroid function, among other things, it shouldn't be your only vitamin A source. Fortunately, the vitamin A in cod liver oil is already in its preformed and bioactive form, which is readily available for the body to use. In addition to vitamin A, cod liver oil is also rich in vitamin D. Vitamin D is essential for calcium metabolism, immune function, and neurotransmitter metabolism. From my other videos, you might know that I'm not a big fan of superdosing vitamin D supplements. One of the reasons for this is that a high intake of isolated vitamin D lowers vitamin A in the liver. Cod liver oil does not have this issue because it delivers both vitamin A and vitamin D in highly absorbable forms. Lastly, cod liver oil is also known for its omega-3 fatty acid content. Omega-3 fatty acids offer numerous health benefits, including the reduction of inflammation, supporting heart health, and promoting brain function. Nowadays, many people consume too many pro-inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids and not enough omega-3s. So similar to a fish oil supplement, cod liver oil can help you bring the two back into a healthy balance. Now, at this point, you might be asking yourself what the difference between fish oil and cod liver oil really is. It's actually very simple. Fish oil is extracted from the tissues of various fatty fish, usually salmon, sardines, or herring, while cod liver oil is specifically derived from the livers of codfish. So cod liver oil is a type of fish oil, but particular to one fish and one organ. In terms of nutrients, a normal fish oil supplement has mostly omega-3s and very small amounts of other vitamins, while cod liver oil also comes with a high amount of vitamin A and vitamin D, like I explained earlier. So it somewhat comes down to what you're looking for and what nutrients you want from your product. I wouldn't recommend taking both at the same time, since fish products come with the downside of heavy metal accumulation that I will talk about in a second. Once you've decided to get a cod liver oil, the next question is, how do you choose the best one? Because there are so many different types and brands, let me quickly explain what I choose and why. You generally want a product that is clean, so it doesn't have any toxins, is as fresh as possible. This is especially a problem with omega-3s, which go rancid fairly quickly, and that is minimally processed, because too much processing actually destroys many of the nutrients in the oil. To be honest, finding a product that fulfills these criteria isn't as easy as it might sound. Most cod liver products on the market are highly processed and have been stored for way too long. For example, conventional oils usually undergo the following processes. Degumming, which involves heating the oil to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. This is done to make the oil clearer and more transparent, but it also removes certain proteins and trace minerals. Drying, which removes the moisture from the oil. Since drying also involves heat, oxygen, and light, it can cause the highly unstable cod liver oil to go rancid more quickly. And lastly, we have vitamin fortification. Ironically, the destroyed vitamins are then often added back into the cod liver oil in an isolated and synthetic form. Obviously, this completely defeats the purpose of buying a natural vitamin source, and it's really just nutrient label cosmetics. As you can probably tell, I'm not a big fan of most conventional cod liver oils, because the end product really doesn't resemble a natural food. Fortunately, there are a few brands out there 
that don't do this and produce their products with minimal processing and greater care. To spot a quality cod liver oil, you should look for the following. The oil should be extracted using low temperatures and no chemical treatment. This is usually done with cold pressed mechanics and such oils are then called extra virgin or virgin cod liver oils. You also want to avoid long storage of the raw oil before being filled into the glass bottles. This is something you can't really check because you can't look into the manufacturer's facilities, but if the brand doesn't advertise their short filling times, chances are the oil will sit in large containers for weeks before being bottled. Next, you definitely don't want any nutrient fortification. This usually needs to be declared on the nutrient label, so watch out for added vitamin A, which often comes in the form of retinol palmitate, or added vitamin D, usually in the form of cholecalciferol. And lastly, the manufacturer should also do regular heavy metal testing. That's because all fish products have the potential to be high in heavy metals such as mercury, simply because our seas are so full of them. Heavy metal testing is especially important the less processed an oil is. Because even though the processing is bad for the nutrients, it does remove impurities and certain toxins. So the more natural a cod liver oil, the more important it is that their fish wasn't contaminated to begin with. Like I said before, there are very few companies that fulfill all these criteria, and at the time of this recording, I really only recommend two, none of which are a sponsor of this video, by the way. The first is Rosita's cod liver oil, and the second is NutraPros. NutraPro can be difficult to get if you live outside of the US, but Rosita has distributors around the world so it should be easier to buy for international customers. Depending on how deep you go down the rabbit hole of different cod liver oils, you will also stumble on fermented cod liver oil. Since the fermentation process doesn't necessarily involve heat, and the oxygen is removed from the oil by lactic acid bacteria, the free fatty acids should theoretically be protective from oxidation. But I have never tried such a cod liver oil, so I can't really say anything about it neither positive nor negative. Online you will find a lot of heated discussions from both critics as well as proponents of fermented cod liver oils, so I'll leave it up to you to decide. To wrap up this video, let me quickly also give you a list of things to keep in mind when taking your cod liver oil. First, in terms of storage, always keep it in a dark room to avoid reaction with sunlight. Unopened bottles can be stored in a freezer to improve shelf life. But once you open your bottle, keep it in the fridge and use it up quickly. Most manufacturers tell you that an open bottle lasts for around 3 months. But I've seen analysis that state that the oil starts to degrade quite a bit after 6 weeks. So I wouldn't use it much longer than that. If you want to avoid this problem, you can also buy cod liver capsules. But they will be a lot more expensive per serving. Also, the oil itself is quite thick and cloudy. This is normal, but make sure to gently shake it before using it. And that's basically it. I hope this video was able to help you get a good overview of what cod liver oil is, how to buy the highest quality type, and how to take it correctly.